Hi, I'm David Carbon, Vice President of Lexco Cable, and today I wanted to talk to you about hooks, part of our uh, hardware category of products. And we have a few different product lines that you could loosely call hooks. I'm going to talk to you about the first one, which is a true wire rope rigging hook. Um, so one thing that these hooks have in common is that they're all going to be load rated. And you'll see on our uh, website, there will be a uh, wire working load limits listed. And uh, you can contact us for any strength information regarding the hooks. Uh, so now I want to actually show you some examples. The most common type of hook that my wire rope customers uh, use would probably be the eye hoist hook. And here is an example of the eye hoist hook. Um, the eye part being at this point, and that's a connection point, and it's, sol it's a solid eye. And then the uh, eye hoist hooks commonly co include the latch. It's possible to get an eye hoist hook where the latch has to be uh, purchased or assembled separately, but uh, most of the time you'll find that it comes with, with the latch kit assembled. And another type of variation on this eye hoist hook is with a different eye. So instead of that solid eye, you could also have a swivel eye. So the swivel eye allows the load that you're hoisting to rotate. And that can help the wire rope from twisting. In some applications where you're hoisting with a solid eye, it might be necessary to use a rotation resistant wire rope. Um, one other variation on this kind of hook is, an, uh, is a grab hook. And this particular example of a grab hook has a solid eye, but they do come with a, a, cl a clevis in lieu of a solid eye. So what you'll notice about the shape is the mouth. The mouth is much more narrowed and it's a straight channel. It's meant for hooking on to a smaller stock diameter and it retains that uh, because of the narrower channel. Another type of hook is a shank hook. And this particular shank hook has threads on the end of the shank hook where you, so you could thread that into tapped hardware or you could put it through a plate and then nut the top. Um, one other type of shank hook instead of having threads here it's blank and some customers will weld that onto their uh, assembly. And then there's a third type of shank hook and that type is where the shank has had a blind hole drilled for the purpose of accepting a wire rope assembly, such as you see here. And what's nice about this assembly is that you don't have a wire rope loop. You have your wire rope terminating right into your hook. So in, if you have... Um, a, a spatial issue where you have uh, clearance issues and and a loop is causing a problem there is a, a, a possible solution with a shank hook and then one other type of hook is an S hook and there are many uh, different configurations of the S hook for example you could have S hooks where the posts are the same length on each end, or in this example, 
you see that there's a longer uh, post on one side and a shorter post on the other side. And S-hooks um, come in uh, different thicknesses, obviously, um, and uh, little, little nuanced differences. Um, and you could even get uh, this size of an S-hook with a wire latch, as shown here. Um, why would you want the S-hook to have a wire latch? Well, you might have an application where you don't want the assembly to unhook because instead of it being a vertical lift assembly, it might be horizontal. Think of a trailer safety cable and the S-hook can help make sure that your hook stays in place dealing with environments that have vibration and movement. Um, one last type of hook I wanted to introduce to you in this video is a fall protection hook. And the thing that fall protection hooks have in common is the double latch. The purpose of the double latch is to make sure that your latch doesn't open when you don't uh, require it to, meaning you first have to press the safety uh, latch before it will allow the actual latch to free up. And, you'll, and you, so you'll see this type of hook used in fall protection applications uh, in tandem with fall protection harnesses and fall protection equipment. I also wanted to mention some materials that you'll come across with hooks. Um, the eye hoist hooks, for example, come in carbon steel and alloy steel. The alloy has a higher breaking strength. Um, in terms of finish on the carbon and alloy hooks, you could get a zinc plated, sometimes called electro galvanized. You could get a hot dip galvanized, and you could also get a painted finish. So besides the carbon and alloy options, there's also stainless steel options available for corrosive environments such as marine applications. And the uh, next thing I want to do is show you some examples of S-hooks assembled. Because after all, that's what we specialize in at Lexo Cable is taking the hardware and adding value to it by uh, fabricating it into an assembly. And so the first uh, model I'll show you is on a turnbuckle assembly. And this particular hook is a eye hoist hook with latch. And in this case, it's attached to something called a hammer link and that's gonna be attached to a turnbuckle jaw. So even if the assembly isn't, it doesn't involve wire rope, uh, it could be a chain assembly, we can also attach hooks to uh, those kinds of assemblies. Here's a very common assembly. It's a, uh, usually you would see this on a winch drum used for a winch application. Um, could be a winch on a Jeep, for example, and you need the, the latch, the latching eye hoist hook on a thimble loop. Uh, next, I want to show you uh, some coiled cable assemblies. I mentioned before um, trailer safety cables, so now I'm going to show you some of those. The first one I'll show you has a coiled wire rope, coated wire rope, a strip thimble loop for load bearing properties. And then on the second loop, you'll see that there is a hook with a latch. This particular hook with latch is a clevis hook because it's got the removable clevis pin. And the, if you're noticing a yellow hue on this hook, it's because it's got a yellow chromate zinc plating. On this trailer safety hook assembly, there's a hook on both ends. 
And here you'll see a painted eye hoist hook. And this one does not have thimbles in the loops. Um, here's an example where there are thimbles in the loops, but the loops are coated. This is for a, um, a lower strength. And we've got an eye hoist hook on one loop. I showed you S hooks earlier. Well, here's that S hook with a latch attached to the trailer safety cable. If you have any questions, uh, we're always here to help you out. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.